Hey folks, welcome to the show today. This is a cooking edition of Catfish Kyle. I'm gonna be showing you a simple, quick, easy way to have a fish for supper. Let's get going. Now I'm gonna show you the way that we had fish when I was a kid. Wasn't a whole lot of uh, uh, fancy stuff around back in those days. You know what we used? We used two simple things and you can do this too. We use salt and we use cornmeal. That's all we're gonna put on these fish today and I will guarantee you, if you put the right amount of salt on these fish, you're not gonna need anything else. So here's what we're cooking up tonight. You'll notice we've got some brim, we've got one catfish filet, and we've got some uh, catfish that we're gonna be frying whole. Now this old boy here, he's a little big, so what I'm probably gonna do is probably gonna cut him in three places, probably about right here and right here, and then I'm gonna cook him that way. So. So we're just gonna sprinkle some salt, kind of lightly on these fish on one side. A lot of this has to do with you. If you like a lot of salt, put a whole lot on them. If you don't like a whole lot, put just a little bit. Then we wanna flip them over. These are whole catfish. I love the whole catfish. I love them with the bone in them, this size. It's delicious to me. Now I want you to notice something. You see this fat on this filet right in here? You see all this fat? It's just kind of a yellow color. We're gonna trim all of that off because the fat on a catfish is a little bit strong. So we're gonna trim that off. Now, we're gonna put some cornmeal in my batter box here. This come from Bass Pro, but if you don't have one of these, you can just use a paper sack. That's what we always used when I was a kid. You're only gonna need maybe one and a half, two cups of this in here probably for the amount of fish. Uh, once you batter it up, if you need some more, put it in there. It's always better to have to add some than to have a whole bunch left over that you've wasted. So I'm gonna make sure my fish are dry, kind of shake them off. I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna put the lid on. Make sure it is sealed good. And I'm gonna shake it. Shake it up and down. He's ready to go. Now I use the Bayou Classic. I love this thing. It's a four and a half gallon fryer. It's got two uh, baskets in it. It's got my temperature gauge down here to let me know when it gets to about 350 degrees. I'm in my basement. Make sure your doors are open if you're doing something like this. You've got plenty of ventilation. This is the exhaust. It'll come right out there. Let's light this thing up. We got the lighter grill, lighter fryer. We're gonna turn our gas on right here. This here turns the gas on that goes to the uh, cooker. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. these fish are battered. All we got to do is let that oil get to 350. We'll be ready to go.
So you want to cook these till they're golden brown, maybe about six to eight minutes with the size that these are. Usually you'll know when they're done because they'll start floating to the top. We'll let that oil drain off of them for just a second. Oh, look at that, y'all. Doesn't that look good? I mean, that looks good. That's going to be some good eating, y'all. Some real good eating. To be good. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This is a short video, a cooking video, an easy video. I'm telling you, if you'll just cook your fish, if they're good fresh fish with salt and cornmeal and fry them, man, I'm telling you, it will be good. We're going to eat good tonight. Hey, hope y'all have a great day. This is Catfish Kyle. Till next time, I'll be seeing you.